Hello world! Welcome back to another PicoGem workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the web exploitation challenge client side again. Let's get into it. Can you break into this super secure portal? They give us a link, we'll open that. And it looks like there's might be some JavaScript here, so let's take a look at that. Sure enough, there's some script right here that's talking about password, and I can see Pico CTF flag format right there. So we probably need to unscramble this. So let's go ahead and inspect. And all we're gonna do is grab this chunk of JavaScript here. We're gonna go to a JS beautifier, just so we can read it better. Okay, and if we look under the function verify, we can see that there's different check pass functions here, and it looks like it's referencing something from this each time. What if we were to print out each of these, right? Because essentially it's comparing our input, right? That's what this check pass is for. It's comparing our input and seeing if it's equal to whatever the static value is. I'm guessing that that's an index for an array. Because if we go back here, we can see that there is indeed an array right here. It's not the same one that's listed here. But in theory, it could be referencing these values that are inside here. So we just need to go in order of these. And we'll probably get our flag. Whoops. So let's take this, put this over here, and put this over here. And reinspect. And we're just gonna simply do underscore ox4b5b, and the first check is checking at ox3, so ox3. And that's the beginning of our flag format, so that's probably right. And then the next portion is open curly brace in, so that'll be the next portion. And then the next portion is ox4, okay. So PicoCTF, not this. And then there's OCT right there, which is PicoCTF. And then we have OX5. So let's look at OX5. Okay. And then we have OX6. And then OX7. And then we also have OX8 down there. Let's go ahead and just Print them all out, right? Password verified, okay, and so then OX9, which is the else here is probably invalid password, yeah? Okay, so our flag is comprised of this, 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 and this, mm, and this, I think, yeah. So we can probably just recompose the flag just by eyeballing it, and that will be Pico CTF, open curly brace, not underscore this, underscore again, and then our little hexadecimal unique identifier, like so. And that should be our flag, so why don't we go ahead and take this and paste it into the flag submission. Flag is incorrect. Okay, so I'm missing something. Oh, no, I have two A's there, there we go. Let's submit that, all right, there we go. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Amamilk, thanks for watching, goodbye world.